In this video, we're going to talk about how to predict the bond angles of certain molecules. So let's start with this example, CH2O. What is the bond angle of the central carbon atom? So feel free to pause the video if you want to try it. The first thing you need to do is draw the Lewis structure. Carbon likes to form four bonds, and hydrogen can only form one bond. Oxygen likes to form two bonds, particularly when it's neutral. When it has a positive charge, it likes to form three bonds. And when it has a negative charge, it likes to form one bond. So the only way we can put this Lewis structure together, where hydrogen has one bond, carbon has four, and oxygen has two, is drawn in a way that you see it on the board as of now. So this is the Lewis structure of CH2O, also known as formaldehyde. Now, what do you think the bond angle is around the central carbon atom? So what is the HCO bond angle? This particular molecule has a trigonoplanar molecular shape. And as a result, the bond angle is going to be 120. So whenever you see a molecule that looks like this, it has a 2D structure. And if you take a full circle, which has an angle of 360 divided by 3, you're going to get 120. So therefore, the bond angle around the central carbon atom is 120 degrees. Now, what about this example? Ammonia. For this one, I would recommend committing this one to memory. Ammonia has three hydrogen atoms attached to it, each with a single bond, and it has one lone pair. It has a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry, and the bond angle for this molecule is 107. So just commit that number to memory for this particular molecule. Now what about H2O? What is the bond angle around the central oxygen atom? Water has two lone pairs and two hydrogen atoms. It has a bent molecular geometry, and the bond angle is 104.5. Now what about this molecule, acetonitro? What is the bond angle around the central carbon atoms? What's the bond angle at this carbon atom and around this carbon atom? Well, let's draw a Lewis structure. So starting with this carbon, it's attached to three hydrogen atoms. And then it's attached to another carbon atom. Now we know that carbon likes to form four bonds, but nitrogen likes to form three bonds. And so we need to put a triple bond between a carbon and the nitrogen atom. A nitrogen, when it has three bonds, it typically has one lone pair. So this is the Lewis structure for acetonitro. So what is the bond angle around this carbon atom? So what is the HCH bond angle? What would you say it is? Whenever you see carbon attached to four things, it has a tetrahedral molecular geometry. And as a result, it's going to have a bond angle of 109.5. So that is the answer for the first carbon atom. Now what about for this carbon? What is the CCN bond angle, where this carbon is the central atom? Whenever you see carbon, where it has a triple bond and a single bond, basically it has a linear shape. The only way to draw this is a, a straight line. And the bond angle for a straight line is always going to be 180. Because a line is basically, it splits a circle into two. And if a full circle is 360, then half a circle is 180. So a linear molecular geometry will always have a bond angle of 180. 
So that's the bond angle around this particular carbon atom.